Okay. Uh, my sh the shortcuts I use, not my shortcuts because they are they are not my shortcuts. They are the shortcuts of of uh, Photoshop. So we we liquefied uh, uh, this and uh, now I want. I explained the last last night this photo is shot with high ISO because I used a continuous light and uh, it was not so powerful there was not, not enough power and it's it a bit a bit grainy change all the the shape of the face and he will look uh, different different man so i need now to merge all this layer in one layer because because i want to use my action and uh, it can be used only if I have only the background layer if I have another layer just for example a copy of this one when I press this three you see it's not working good and using this using only the background layer it will work but use three now everything is okay we, we close all these groups and leave only the frequency separation softening is too much we can reduce the opacity of this layer or uh, or with a black foreground and the brush tool we can remove it by masking it out Disappear. Grab. 
not the area, but if we, we, we use the, the brush and the, the mask, we can work locally and take it away where we want. From where we want. Music is too high now, so from Albania and uh, I want to say to my connationals if they want me to speak in Albania you can text me and if there's anyone who wants me to to speak in Albania I will do some lives for you me in the chat so or in the comments okay that's it see the before and after turn back that's the texture and this is the texture okay another one but first I need to zoom it out click here to quick selection and I want to select the background because I want to make it softer just to, because I want to show you how to do it because I don't want I don't need it you can 
you can do this we you get go to select and inverse and select only the background turn off the texture and just paint it like this and it will become softer as you can see okay let me see let's wait let's wait okay let's see the before and after okay that's how we can soften the background or or we can go to the low frequency layer with the luster tool we can remove we need to remove that selection and go to Gaussian blur and use it three or use the amount you think it's okay for this let's see what happens as you can see see this area see you can see this area we can reduce it and rise it to the point you think it's okay now we see that's it you see this area is soft and so we make this if you want to apply the same uh, blur amount Gaussian blur amount it's you can just press as you can see here the shortcut Control alt f and you can repeat how many times you want to to repeat this Control f Control f oops Control f and Cetresta. you can continue like this until, until you achieve the result you want but for me it's okay it's okay I want to remove all this I made in this area here I don't want it because okay that's it I, I like the result this is the before and after we we have all this because we want to to look natural we didn't remove this or this here these lines so now it's time to color grade some color grading or maybe first some dodge and burn let's I press D to to restart these colors and in this case I want the, the white to be in the foreground and I press X X X to toggle this to toggle these two colors we need to press X so it's the white background now I need to reduce this and go to burn because first I want to burn some areas uh, this just a little here here and the eyebrows for just a little well, okay that's it I'm not zooming in because I don't want to to take too much time to edit this because the closer you go the more details you see the more you need to work on it so we stay far away and just making some 
small adjustments okay maybe I need to add some shadow here to create more shadow and here let me see the before and after okay I think it's way better after the, the burning process we add some more contrast let me add some light here and here just to create more depth okay that's it okay we are going it's going everything okay let's let me see maybe no more than five percent we don't want to one or two percent and three is not bad you see uh, when you take this to the cyan it it looks more alive than this it looks like black and white so because we are affecting the reds and let me see just i think we need some yellows here maybe four not no eight is too much it maybe with the levels I need to see what we can do with the levels let me I'm when I press alt we check because I'm moving the highlights and you see that area is becoming brighter and that means those pixels are damaged now so we are losing information there we don't know we don't want this but it's okay this amount and we see the before and after is the contrast is much much better here now and i think that that check the shadows I don't want to usually I don't use the white balance too too much because I like other it's okay now with the levels we finished let me see the before and after maybe with the color grading without the without the color grading with the color grading that's good okay now we create a merge new layer and after this we go to camera row control shift a wait for the camera to be activate let's do it to 50 55 it's okay press alt and see what we are doing with the masking i want to remove it from the background and leave it only to the subject to the bright areas are sharpened okay maybe some color grading with the okay i like to use the arrow keys because i think i'm i'm more precise when i use this than the mouse or the pen tool now close this uh you know 
uh, I want to explain something. This is a simple pr process of color grading because we we don't have too much colors here. We are with a, with a gray background and we have all this white t-shirt and this gr gray here and and so we need to deal only with the, the skin colors in other scenarios with uh, another background or uh, another ambient we need to to work more with uh, color grading maybe masking and ev all other process so sharpening I think it's too much when you zoom it let me we don't want to create problems to the to with the quality of the image so I don't want to rise it more than 30 35 maybe 35 it's enough now okay noise reduction let me see what we have this maybe I'm gonna leave it at 7 uh, with calibration we are not doing anything because the skin colors are pretty okay let me go to mix colors and go to luminance and let's check if we can do anything to make to make better the colors widening uh, no I don't think so let me try the reds better without this so uh, please please comment and in on the chat what do you think and now uh, final step is uh, just to to add some texture to the background uh, I want to see the, the here it is that's it okay go to multiply and and now okay press enter and so we we need to select the subject after the subject we need to inverse inverse the selection and create a mask here the mask is okay that's okay now I need to to add a, a curve or a level for me is the is the is the same but we need to clip it to the background and okay we add some more light to the let's see the before and the after something first I need to export this photo first I don't need I don't want to uh, to be at maximum quality for the moment just that's it 
Okay, now I'm gonna put what I <laughs> now add the maximum and okay, same location, but I don't want to change the name because I want to keep both of, both of them so I need to change the thumbnail of this live and to put this photo with uh, the retouched version but uh, it needs to be it has to be lower than 2 megabytes to to be placed on the thumbnail so that's that's why I, I exported before with lower quality and okay now we are we are good to go so I, I need to close this and I need to close this photo and to start with the other with the other one close this and uh, oops sorry uh, uh, today today it was a very a very busy day for me because I was uh, working for more than six hours or six or um, I started at 10 until uh, six yes eight hours in a wedding I finished at six transform or we can use fill content aware fill but I will use a shortcut you can see it in the uh, it doesn't show that I don't know why shift shift backspace and here appears the content aware press ok and Photoshop will make his his job so replacing this area with pixels from this area you can see it I like I like the result maybe I'm gonna make some adjustments like so okay it doesn't need too much work because I'm gonna fix I'm gonna make the same thing to the background like in the preview photo uh, I forgot to crop the other photo but it's okay because uh, we can crop I can crop it later so uh, about liquify I don't think we have too much to do in this Okay, that's that's okay. Just something small. Okay. Let me see. Okay, it's okay. We don't. I don't want to to mess with the chin, so it's okay. Okay. Now, now if I want to clean some of this, this here, here, but it's a, it's time to merge 
the layer and press F2 to activate the, uh, the action, the famous action. this transition between these two areas this is too dark and this is uh, it's not too wide but it's, wa uh, it's wider than this and it, it looks wide so I want to take some colors from here to here and we are moving information from this area to this area so it will look lighter it will become lighter and it's some some th uh, we can call it uh, dodging that's Somehow it's the same the same concept because with dodging and burning uh, we, we with uh, with the burn we burn lighter areas and with uh, dodging we dodge darker areas to create more soft transitions between areas. So the same concept is here. We take information from the the dark areas to to the white areas or or the or otherwise Just, just a break. It was if I can tomorrow, I will go live earlier than this other. If you want to be faster on uh, retouching photos, there is a method to keep practicing. <laughs> and uh, if you don't uh, become, if you don't become enough fast. There is another method. Uh, to leave some things like they are. <laughs> so 
if you want to be perfect you need time arm it's too it's too much so I'm gonna I'm gonna delete it because I want to do it again let's let's delete it and go back here just a bit here and not too much here 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 like this taking some information from here too That's it. Not too much. Okay. Enough. Okay. Let's see the face. Okay. I think we need some patch to be used here. Some of this. Let me see. It's okay. Now. this in the pre preview photo okay and uh, this I don't know what is this but I think we need to remove it and that's it now now with the dodge and burn maybe this time I'm not gonna use the dodge and burn I'm just go directly to the color grading and, and some contrast some yellows 
some reds and some more of cyan. Let me see the before and after and now it's time for the okay. select the subject wait for waiting uh, let's fix a bit here uh, it's not a big deal even if we if, if we leave it like that but we have the, that option so we do it so uh, I need to go to my downloads to take this away from here, put it there. Okay. 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 We select oops, I can do it. So it's okay. I just select it again. And hello. There are two others on the okay. Invert the mask. That's right here. We go to levels. Let's let's see what we can do. Okay, over here. Okay, and another curve. Just some more light. Hello, hello, hello. Welcome, welcome. So uh, now we merge all the layers and create a new one with all the merged layers and go to camera row and try to to sharpen a bit more the photo sharpening 30 it's enough i think and the masking it's not enough so we do this we don't need to color grade to color grade the photo because the colors look are looking okay for my uh, we don't need anything of this either this calibration color mix detail uh, it's everything it's are is placed so uh, now we need to see the before and after before and after before and after I like the result I'm happy with it mm, I need to I need to I need I have to export this and to save it I will save it in the background it's great okay that's nice now it's time for you to 
to ask if you have anything to ask now it's time because if you don't I have to to leave and let's see this these are some photos of uh, a wedding and I made them and now I just need to let me see if okay highlights reduce a bit the highlight just because of the face the face of the bride it was too white because of because of the makeup the same situation people dancing this is an, uh, an Albanian wedding so people like to throw money when they dance I to remove this one photos are not made by me uh, they are made by my assistant I don't know the focus the focus is not here <laughs> the histogram it looks it looks okay we need okay let's try to reduce the shadows it looks I don't know why this is like this maybe this information here This here makes it so so dark so I use the, the R6 to make these photos with um, 24 to 70 uh, there this is shot as you can see here ISO 1024 uh, mil and uh, 
3.2 f3.2 and 1 of 200 of a second. photos to I made I not me but my colleagues made too, too many photos to the singer because he was he is a, a cousin of the groom and he was invited there to sing because he is a singer so I need to delete this just to create some more depth to the photo so so this needs to lower the I need to delete this one too this one doesn't tell anything to me so I need to delete it this also of the people who will dance and uh, the music continues by the list uh, there is someone who calls the name of the people who will dance it's uh, just a, it's a tradition because it's a way how they respect uh, the people it's just about respect, not organization. So, for example, they call the name of this man, and uh, 
uh, all the family they come to dance with him as you can see the others the groom it's some it's a way how uh, they they used to have fun and respecting each other <laughs> feel feel free to to tell me how how weddings works in your in your country we can we can talk about your tradition in fact sometimes I like I like uh, this tradition but there are times I don't like it because people they want to follow this tradition too much and uh, everything everything you do too much it's it's not good some so Uh, now these young girls and boys are are wearing uh, traditional clothes of of Albania. They are not dancers. Uh, they are just young people. They are invited to to the wedding. Cousins, friends, brothers and sisters. focus is behind there okay red and white dominating the, the view Albania that's not uh, that's not the tradition traditional clothes in, you know there are other styles but this white I don't want how to call it in English all the all the old ladies in North Albania they use this not all but who lives in the country who lives in the in the village not in not in the city I'm gonna delete this one Somehow this is uh, like like uh, uh, documenting the the wedding, not so it's not so artistic. The artistic photos we we make the the session some days before the wedding usually we make a short video about three minutes and the session at the same time we have many locations here in Albania 
sometimes we use the sea, sometimes we use the mountains, sometimes we use uh, different buildings. Reducing the, the brightness, I'm not working with colors or anything else because there are about 1000 photos. because we love we love the eagle he's our symbol as we can as you can know Albania is a small country but uh, he has the nature has given to the Albanian everything we have the sea we have many rivers and the mountains it's all in the in a small area It's about uh, 20, 28,000 kilometers square and you can find everything in, in that, I can say, piece of land. It's about, it's a bit problem about the go government, government because too much corruption, but I think we can we can deal it we can deal with, with it we learned how to survive in these conditions to, so As you can see this man never turns the head towards the camera <laughs> and because there are enough 
uh, of this group of people so this one This is the best, I think. You see, all of the people looking to the camera, and that's nice. <sighs> happy people, happy people. Couples getting married, and three hundred others getting crazy is fun look at the expression of the face of the of the groom here and here somehow it looks the same so I'm gonna delete this one reduce a bit the exposure So, 1,250, I need to reduce the shadows to create more, more contrast because it, there is no contrast in these shots, these two, okay, maybe this one I'm gonna delete it. see here next is the groom and the bride delete delete yeah, I'm gonna keep this one but we need to lower the exposure and this here this is too much exposed and reducing the exposure creates a weird effect so I don't like to keep it this one it's too much and this exposure is too much so remove all this this one too
watching in the morning. I don't know why it's creating this motion blur. Maybe because it was too fast and the shutter was just 200 of a second. Let me see how much. Oh, okay, about two hours, about one and a half hour. Put into the bride a necklace. It was a gift from his her brother. And uh, if you want to know, this is this is me. Becoming fat more and more I have a record to reach so <laughs> so wish me luck all this photo are overexposed I'm gonna kill the photographer but not but not today it's not like it looks
show you uh, this is one moment from the from the party of the day the wedding it was the a wedding and a birthday because uh, after the after the covid uh, all the weddings uh, are at the same time birthdays because they didn't make the wedding in in the pandemic period but they get married even there was the covid so they had kids <laughs> and they decide to make the wedding at the, the at the birthday of the kids so I tried to explain it but I I know I messed up and we go actually I don't like to match this things but but people do like and they want this so we have to do it in the face I don't, I don't know how can the R6 do this and I th that's okay over exposed but that, let me see People smiling is the best thing of the world. So I I was always keep that kind of photos, those moments. So 
I'm I'm asking to the people who are currently watching uh, to to text anything in the chat so I can know who is watching me this is the little little brother of the groom they, they live in Deutschland but they have all their peoples and the family in Albania and that's why they did the wedding in Albania people and money because usually all the service cost less in Albania than any country of Europe grooms usually in the wedding they burn this because it's a symbol of uh, it, uh, it's over being s single so they burn it let me know if in your country have any of this kind of tradition If you burn anything or break anything,
um, it's okay now I think I'm gonna delete all the other shots and that's it now I will select all this and export to GT rise the quality at 100 and export so uh, now I have to go I wish you a good time good night or what hour of the day is in your country so see you at next live Thank you.